1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Kwame Asherala, rise Israel, call Halam La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha'a Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They stirred us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This the brother Zion Amawan coming at you with another lesson. Defeat the lambs through the Holy Spirit. Racha'a Kodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Today's lesson is entitled. Even though we get whooped by the Lord, we got to endure, okay? Even though we get whooped by the Lord, we got to endure, all right? And this is a video of a father, you know, chastising his son, man. His son didn't even swing back or nothing. You know, he still loves his dad. He still... Reverence his father, but his father straight slimed him though. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, you talking about, I'm talking about like the daddy slimed him though. You know what I'm saying? Straight, man. You gonna see. Okay? But it's important that, you know, we are getting judged on the way. Okay? We, you know, as we commit the iniquity, we get judged. Okay? That is way 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 better than getting judged along with the world okay and when you in this truth when you get into this truth you are getting into the order of things you understand all right so let's check out this video and then after that we'll just get get to it Slimed his son though. Hey man, but with, hey man, you being disrespectful, you on that bullshit. Yeah, how about she my was shot gonna be just like this dude right here, man? And, and we need more fathers like that too, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because you know, the kids is monsters nowadays. I'm kind of, you know, I'm disappointed that this father here got a bald head and a bald face, but at least his intense and his heart is right with his son, man. You know? Shit, throw on them gloves. And I'm gonna slime your ass. You know what I'm saying? Period. 
So it is what it is, man. You know? And his son was scared. He ain't want no smoke. You know? He still respected his father at the end of the video. You know? But when you on that bullshit, your how about Shima was shy? Gonna chasten you, man. You know? Your how about Shima was shy? Gonna give you that good body work. <laughs> you feel me? You gonna curl up me. How about Shima was shy? Might have to give you that, that good body work. You might be wondering, like, damn, why the hell am I even catching hell like this? Why? You might not even know why. But you still got a reverence. Yeah, how about Shima was shot? Even though you getting whooped like this son right here in the black shirt by his father. You gonna get whooped like that from the Heavenly Father sometimes, man. But yeah, how about Shima was shot? Only do it to sons that he love, man, because he wants you to get closer to the kingdom. All right? That's what Israelites get, though. You feel me? That's what happens. You know? Let's go to Proverbs. Chapter 3. And verse 12. For whom? The Lord Yahweh Bashimawasha loveth, he correcteth. Right. Okay? If the most high love you, he gonna correct you. You gonna be catching hell. The most high wanna see. Are you still gonna call on his name? Are you still gonna reverence him? Are you still gonna talk to your power? Yahabah Shimawasha is looking at that. Okay? Even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Right? Because he chose you out of this world, man. It's all out of love. Just like that father. He was whooping his son ass. But he still love him. That's what Yahabah Shimawasha is going to do to you through the spirit by putting hell on you, man. Why you in this truth? That's why, like a lot of y'all Israelites, really don't know what y'all signed up for when y'all got in this truth. You know, when you got in this truth, you know, you was figuring out like, damn, why am I catching more hell in the truth than out the truth? Because you are getting judged on the way. 
Some of the times that you catch hell, you can't even get mad. You can't. Why? Because you know you was on some bullshit. You know you was on some bullshit when you did that. But you might be going through a little something. You know? You might you might be sincere in the heart and you just going going through something. You keep sinning. You might got an issue with something. So you how about Shema was shot? You know, his eyes is bright. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. So you can't hide nothing from your how about Shema was shot. He know whether you are sincere or not. That you just a sincere brother or sister that's going through something. You know, you keep committing the, you know what I'm saying, the same iniquity or... You know what I'm saying? You might have a couple iniquities that you trying to, you know what I'm saying, shake. Yeah, how about Shema was shy still? You know what I'm saying? While you going through the iniquity and you get punished for it, yeah, how about Shema was shy? want to see, are you still going to call on his name? Are you still going to reverence him? Are you still going to um, talk to him, man? Through, uh, through prayer, that you are still going to believe. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that you're gonna believe that you're gonna get saved through Yahweh Shai being a mediator, man. Yahweh gonna look up at you and be like, you know what? You know what? What this guy did, or this sister did, what this brother and sister did, man, they wanna be saved, man. That is what they want. And he's going to grant it to you, man. Okay? But you got to endure. Okay? Why you, you know, catch hell. Alright? Hebrews chapter 12. From the top. Wherefore, sin we also are our compassed about with with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which which dop so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Right. And that race is getting to the kingdom, man. That's that race. It's getting to the kingdom, man. OK, this is a marathon, man. You know. Sometimes, man. How about Shema Washa will put a heavy spirit on you to keep you humble as well, you know? Okay? You know? Because once you catch hell, just like in Proverbs, on whom he delighteth. So you getting your ass whooped because your How about Shema Washa wants you to get to the kingdom, man. But like I said again. He want to see, are you still going to call on his name to see if you're going to reverence him still, man? Okay? Are you going to call on him? Are you going to, are you going to believe? Right? Looking onto Yahweh, the author and the finisher of our faith, who, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh Shemayah Okay. All right. Yahweh Shah had to endure, and we gotta do the same thing. We gotta go through the same thing as the prophets of old, as our forefathers, man. We gotta go through the same thing. You can't get into the kingdom and you ain't went through nothing. You got to be worthy, man. You know? Verse 3. 4. Consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. 
and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as children, my son. Despise not thou chastening of the Lord, Yahweh, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Okay, so you, so we still got to call on Yahweh, we still got to reverence Yahweh, we got to give thanks that he give, you know what I'm saying? We got to give thanks when Yahweh give us hell, you know, because it's all out of love, man. Yahweh is teaching you. He is teaching you through the spirit. Okay? Because, because your Habashim Awasha want you to make it. Alright? They want you to make it. They are, you know, preserving your spirit, man. Tearing you down, building you up, tearing you down, building you up, tearing you down, building you up. You know? It's better to take that, getting judged on the way. Than getting judged with the world. Because I don't want that. And you shouldn't either. Getting judged with the world means you're going to get hit with a missile, man. Okay? Alright? That's not what we want. We want to get delivered. Okay? But Yahabashima Hawashai know whether you sincere or not. Verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And scourgeth every son whom, whom he receiveth. Okay, if the most high going to put going, you know, what I'm saying, tell you to put some gloves on or, you know, take out that big old belt, you know, that means he love you, man. If you catching hell and you don't know why or you catching hell and you know why the Lord love you. He got to break you down and build you up, break you down, build you up, you know. That's what Yahweh Bashim do. That's how they operate. Okay. Verse seven. If 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 ye endure chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. Okay. For what son he? So like if for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Right. Okay. If y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you got some kids. Right? You got a son. Okay? He got a sleepover. It's a, it's a bunch of little boys. They having a sleepover. Something break in the house. Who you going to whoop? You going to whoop your kids. You going to whoop your kid. Because he know better. He know the house rules. He know what he's supposed to be doing and what not supposed to be doing. You going to whoop his ass. You feel me? Why? Because you love him. Okay? Verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof are uh, all our partakers, then are bastards and not sons. Right. And that's these other nations. You know? These other nations are like bastards. Man, the most time not dealing with them. There's a difference. Be, you know, so there's a difference. And being raised and trained to do the right thing versus just growing the hell up. Because an undisciplined child becomes an undisciplined adult. Okay? And through the spirit, we are we are learning evil on the left hand side, okay, by going off and everything. By the time we get to the kingdom, we'll be the perfect judges, Lord willing, we are part of that number, man. Okay? Verse 9. Furthermore. We have, uh, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, just like you seen. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? You understand? If your father whooped your ass or beat you to death or straight slimed you right there in the damn living room, you feel me? You gonna still love and respect him, so you gotta get that same love and respect to your how about Shimei I was shot, and they're looking at that too. You know, verse ten. For they verily, for a few days, chastening, uh, uh, chastening us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, right? And that's the kingdom that that we might be partakers of his holiness, exactly, because he's. 
because he is preparing our souls for the kingdom, man. Okay, but you got to know that, though. Okay? And don't curse Yahweh when it happens. Don't don't be like Job, wife, that just straight up lost it and everything and telling Job to curse. What? Come on, man. You don't want to be like that, man. And, and we'll close out on that scripture. Now... No chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. N nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, simple. So we're going to go to uh, Job right quick. And we'll close out right here, man. This is what Job wife told Job, man, when Job was catching that hell. You know what I'm saying? Right after... Uh, you know what I'm saying? how about Shema was shy and Satan. Uh Satan basically bet it, how about Shema was shy that I can get him to curse you. But mind you, Yahweh Bashima was shy's eyes is ten ten times ten uh slaki, ten thousand times greater than the sun. So Yahweh already knew the outcome, you feel me? So he just had to prove it to Satan, like, nah man. Job, Job ain't cut like that. Job got his integrity. And that's what we have to have in this truth, okay, while we catching hell from your how about you, was shot. Are you still going to keep your integrity as well, man? Okay? We got Job chapter 2 and verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse, curse the Most High and die. Okay? What you think Job said? You know, this going to be a lot of women... And even brothers that is going to catch hell and they're going to be cursing the most high because they ain't rich or, you know what I'm saying? They keep, you know what I'm saying? They just can't keep getting a break, man. It's just like, I'm talking about judgment after judgment after judgment after judgment, man. They just, eat, they just keep going through shit and can't get no break. They're going to curse you. How about Shema was shot? But you, Israel, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh. That's listening and watching this video. You keep your integrity, man. Let's see what Job said. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. Woo! What? Shall we receive good at the hand of Yahabah Shema And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Man, he cut into his wife. He saw some girl... You out your fucking mind. You feel me? He straight checked his wife. You know? Job kept his integrity. And, and look, he got everything back. You know? And that is what we're going to get. Everything back in the kingdom. So Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying and to the point. I want to give the glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Double honor to the to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us this truth in sincerity. They stirred us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house.